you're in this process and they're talking to you about what is happening with your eyes and what your eyesight is going to be moving forward, as an artist especially, you know, you're using your eyes to do everything that you do creatively. Just tell me a little bit about the feelings that you were having. And... It was horrible. It was devastating. Um, you know, I had a, a good cry on the way home, driving, thinking, I'm not even going to be able to drive anymore. This just isn't, isn't fair. Why would you do this to an artist? An artist is so, you know, it's your eyes. As I can imagine a lot of us who might find ourselves in that situation would be in that same spot where you just, you don't really know how to move forward, you don't know what you're gonna do, you're very overwhelmed and it's frustrating. How did you climb out of that? I mean, they put me through all kinds of testing and uh, you know, after all these tests and I said, well, can I still be an artist? I mean, because uh, I was still making art all that time. I didn't stop. When I, when I dream, when I close my eyes, I'm not blind. Sometimes I can see better with my eyes closed because the images are created by my mind. Yeah. Just use those images, you know, freeze them in my mind and then have them and not have to look. I just knew that they were there. So you get your degree from UT and where did these huge canvases of cowboys and Wild West scenes come from? Well, they're just rough and tumble guys. Very interesting, I find it all interesting. And we grew up on this stuff, you know. Those were the cool guys. Those were the heroes back then, you know. It, it was uh, like an introduction to where, you know, yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna do, yeah, I really like this. The art brought me to it. The cowboy brought me to him, you know, then I started studying it and learning about some of these characters. I couldn't get enough of it. When people hear your story and they realize what you've been through also and kind of where all of this came from, what do you want them to take away from your journey, your story, and your artwork? If the love for what you do is strong enough, it's gonna it's gonna overshadow any negativity and you're gonna you're gonna shine through it. You just gotta get, get that fire going, that fire of love of what you're doing. Listen to people that are helping you. All you have to do is take someone's hand. There are a lot of warm people in the world. You know, it might not seem like it by watching the news, but there are a lot of warm people out there. That makes me uh, giggle on the inside, just knowing that. <laughs>